Apple computer. The epitome of the American dream. In 1977, a company with sales of 774,000. Today, a company with annual sales approaching 600 million, on the threshold of being the youngest company ever to make the Fortune 500. At the root of Apple's success lies the world's first personal computer. The Apple II, small, inexpensive, simple to use. The first computer an individual could take out of the box, plug in, and run. Bringing computing down to a personal level. One person, one computer. Throughout the world, more than three quarters of a million Apple IIs are being used the largest installed base of any computer manufacturer. With the most software and peripherals, all of this makes Apple the personal tool for a wide array of markets. Business. Home. Education. Science. But the personal computer market has not stood still. Advances in technology and design occur almost daily. Today, there are more than 100 personal computers to choose from. Apple maintains its leadership role by using advanced technology to improve the industry's number one product. To reaffirm its commitment to this winning product, Apple has enhanced the Apple II to meet consumers and dealers' broadening expectations about personal computing. Apple has taken the Apple II, refined its design, and added some of the most popular features available on personal computers. The result is the Apple IIe, a personal computer that is more reliable and easier to use. In fact, it's the most personal computer. In 1976, when uh, Waz and I designed the Apple II, what we tried to do was use the, the state-of-the-art technology available to us at that time to create a product that had a greater value for a computer than had ever before been realized. And uh, I think we achieved that because Apple II went on to be the largest selling computer in the history of the world, and still is. But we want to continually bring this experience of using a computer to more and more people. And we embarked upon a program uh, approximately 24 months ago to take this best-selling computer in the world and increase its value even further by using the state-of-the-art technology available to us today that wasn't available in 1976. And uh, as a result, we've created the 2E, the same old 2, but implemented with 1983 technology. But you know, the 2E is better than the 2. And uh, my hat's off to the 2E team. It's better than Waz and I did in 1976. But what you're probably wondering is why we call it the Apple IIe and not the 2 plus plus or the uh, 2 plus extra plus or even Mary or Diana. Well, the E stands for enhanced. We've redesigned the Apple II, made it simpler, more reliable, and enhanced it with built-in features that are important to today's users. What we've done is to make the most popular personal computer ever used in business, home, schools, and laboratories even more useful for these markets. First, we made it more powerful to handle larger tasks and more sophisticated programs. The Apple IIe has 64K of user memory, and the ROM has been boosted to 16K. And we've added a powerful control program with BASIC built in, so the system comes up smart. We modified the keyboard to make it easier to use. It's now a standard typewriter keyboard with special keys. Easy cursor movement, tab function, caps lock, 
and a host of other additions, giving the keyboard a full 128 ASCII upper lowercase character set with 63 keys. Also, an upper lowercase display is standard, so you never have to add a lowercase accessory. And we're offering a low-cost, plug-in 80-column card, developed especially for the 2E. But that's not all. Improved peripheral ports make connecting cables to peripheral cards easier. You can even lock the top to keep prying fingers out. Plus, the 2E has an even more reliable design. We've dramatically decreased the number of components necessary on the motherboard, which is to say we've increased reliability and made service even easier for you. The product's introduction has been carefully orchestrated to ensure that the 2E follows in the distinguished footsteps of the Apple II. In fact, to become the most personal.